Never has a meeting seemed as long as grueling or personally upset me as the last meeting that I attended this previous night. <laughs> At this meeting, I saw something that I wish to never see again in this district and that I think has taken a serious hold in this district. At this meeting, what I saw was that people on both sides of this issue seemed to put their personal vendettas, their personal issues, ahead of the actual issues. People are putting what they feel and who they don't like and why they don't like them and masking them under these ideas of issues. And um, we know that something's broke. And I have to speak out because, you know, when people are oppressed, when they've been abused, when they've been victimized, what happens is that continues if you don't speak out. Yeah. And so this is a speaking out for all of you. toward any administrator, towards any staff person, towards any child, and all of you need to make sure that doesn't happen. This is your family. This is your community, just as it is mine. And I want to make sure that it happens. And let's talk about me. You know, I was brought into executive session, and I was told, we want you to resign. And we're going to have a special meeting where you can offer this resignation. It was never my idea. It was never my idea, but as you've heard many times, the school board hires me. I am hired by the school board. We have a five-member board, and three of those members can vote me out. That's it. So when somebody tells you we want you out and we have the votes to get you out, usually you want to go with some type of honor and dignity. And so they offer you to resign. It's not like you really have that much of a choice. 